It is so many watch that video of Joseph Mann being gunned down and I can tell you in this community they feel that police crossed the line and that that death did not need to happen. Tonight they protested call it for, calling for justice and police accountability. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! This is the rally cry of a group that feels under attack by police. Dozens line the sidewalks of Sacramento's Del Paso Boulevard, just blocks from where Sacramento officers shot and killed Joseph Mann in July. The video released by police yesterday. I saw an execution. I saw a judge, jury, and an execution take place. I didn't see them trying to save a life. I seen them trying to take a life. Shut it down! We don't get it! Shut it down! I have four young black sons. And I'm out here protesting for them. And I have a brother, and I'm out here protesting for them and the lives that are taken. Monica Carter says she feels relations between minority communities and police are deteriorating. I feel like they've traded in them sheets and the ropes for the guns and the badges. While the protesters aim to be disruptive, they also promise to remain peaceful, for the most part, staying on the sidewalk. Keep it, get off the street. Man's family is suing the city and this morning called out the officers who fired at him 18 times. Man was armed with a knife. At the time he was shot, he was not being aggressive. He was not being, uh, he was not threatening the officers. It makes you feel empty inside. It, it hurts. It hurts. It's hard to watch any of those videos. Those here promise more demonstrations, saying so long as there's violence like this, these protests are their way of demanding better from their police force. Now, earlier in the day, a private security company came by and told many of the business owners here on Del Paso Boulevard about the planned protest. In response, a lot of those business owners ended up shutting down early, and it turns out that that precaution was completely unnecessary as the protests remained peaceful. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.